What's up, and welcome back to How to Play Dark Souls. Since last time, I went and uh, got a whole bunch of arrows, brought uh, a short bow with me this time, and we're going to be needing those arrows really soon here. Um, so, if you don't have a long-ranged weapon or magic, uh, this is going to be a lot harder for you. So I definitely suggest get yourself a bow, get yourself a few hundred arrows. You might need up towards to like two or three hundred at least. Um, I went ahead and bought 999 just because that'll last me through the rest of the game. But, um, you know, whatever you want to do. Just get a couple hair, uh, a couple hundred. You'll need them. And uh, get Dragon Slayer arrows as well because we'll need those eventually. I figured while I was farming for souls to buy arrows, I might as well get the Dragon Slayer arrows I needed as well. Just so I won't have to do it later. These guys are fairly easy to kill. Um, they're pretty slow, and all they can really do is blow fire at you. So you just move around them and two-hand your weapon, get them in three hits. Um, th okay, well this guy on the other hand is... Uh, well, I did not expect him to come attack me like that. Another Taurus demon, so same strategy as before. Get underneath him, hit him four times, and he's dead. Now, there, there's a big giant caterpillar. Let's uh, avoid him for the time being. Um, we want to go down this way first and fight these Taurus demons. Now, this is a... This is where it can get kind of tough, because fighting a Taurus Demon on this narrow cliff phase is not fun. Um, they do not make it uh, easy on you here. Um, so you gotta, you gotta be careful. You really gotta keep your stamina up, and you gotta shield from their attacks. Make sure you don't uh, try to do too much at once. There's one more we have to take care of. Right over here. And hopefully I will be able to do this without issue. As you can see, the cliff face gets even narrower over here. And, uh, yeah, that can happen. So, I guess I'll be right back. Alright, let's try this again. So, hopefully he doesn't do that attack right off the bat. Let's, I'm going to try and drag him back here a little bit. I don't like fighting him over there. Okay, you jump at me. That's fine. Oh, he's backing up. He made my life much easier that time. Thank you. Okay, so hopefully you brought that uh, bow and uh, those arrows, because you're going to need them right freaking now. So down this pathway, there's a box, a treasure chest at the end. And uh, these guys, I mean, you can kill them melee, but they just have some really, really annoying attacks. They're much harder to kill melee. It's much easier to just stand here and shoot them in the face. And, um... They won't do anything about it, so this may take a second. I'll be right back. All right. And uh, these guys will drop green titanite shards, so if you have a weapon that requires that, this is a good place to come and get some green titanite shards. You can also buy them, but it's always better to win them for free. Well, not for free. You do have to kill the enemy, but you know what I mean. All right, pretty soon we're going to get ambushed here. There we go. Two in front and two in back. Um, this is going to be pretty precarious situation. Um, okay, I just, I need to get out of here. Let's roll backwards. Alright. That'll be the easiest. And then I will just shoot them and kill them from behind, so again, this will take uh, a little time, so I'll be back when I'm finished. Okay. So once you use a couple hundred arrows killing those guys, come over here and pick up what's inside of this chest. Which is... A large flame ember. Now you're going to need this if you want to create fire weapons. But you cannot give this ember to Andre of Astora. He um, is not capable of making fire weapons apparently. There's another blacksmith we'll meet a little bit later in the game that you need to give that to. So I will uh, show you that when the time comes. For now, let's uh, head this way up to the left. And we'll go ahead and fight another boss. After I kill this guy. I'll be right back. Alright. So let's head up here to the left. 
couple of these uh, statue guys that are going to come after us. There you kill. There we go. And there's also a Capra demon over here. And a couple of items to pick up, though I've already picked them up. Alright, so the next box... Uh, box? What the freak am I saying? The next boss uh, can be kind of tough. You might want to equip you the, this armor when you fight this guy. Just for the added defense. But um, he's the same as... Um, as the Asylum Demon, basically, has all the same moves, he just has more health. So the same strategy applies, except that he'll do more damage even when you're shielding, um, which is quite annoying, so you're going to have to really keep up on your health. Try to turn and uh, block those attacks from in front so that you get, don't get knocked to the ground. Um, but just, you really have to just be patient against this guy. He just spams the crap out of that area of effect attack, just like the Asylum Demon, except that this guy hurts a lot worse. So, what you want to try and get him to do is jump up in the air like that. That's much easier, but he'll often spam the area of effect attacks, which really sucks. Um, so keep your stamina high, keep your health up, and all I, the only advice I can give you really is just to stay really patient. Um, it's required for this fight um, because you can't really block the area of effect attacks at least not with this shield um, I didn't uh, switch over to my um, crest knight or crest shield that's what it's called that might have been a good idea uh, I didn't even think of that um, the crest shield might be able to block a hundred percent of that area of effect attack so if you have the crest shield uh, equip that and use it because it might come in really handy in this fight and you might not have to worry about these area of effect attacks quite so much. But I forgot to do that because I wasn't thinking. So we'll do it the hard way. I like it when he does this. This is easy to combat. I should be able to get him right now. Oh, come on. Okay, this time I've got him right here. Two. That is... That's bullcrap. Um, come on. There we go. Okay, so he's, he's, he's not too hard. He just requires lots of patience. And the Crest Shield might work really well in that fight. Guess I'm not going to find out because uh, I finished it without it, but... Give it a try. See if it'll block 100% uh, of that uh, area of effect damage. I was going to switch back to the other armor, but eh. we're going to fight one more boss in this episode. And then we'll, uh, we'll end it there. Before we do that, I want to uh, go ahead and um, activate a shortcut that leads back up to Quelog's domain. That way we have a quick access back to here anytime we want. Lots of these uh, fire stone things, whatever they're called. I'm sorry, I'm not real good um, at remembering the names of the enemies in this game. I know most other guys that do walkthroughs of these RPGs on YouTube will provide like a full bestiary and give you like all of the the names and the stats and the levels and the you know list every attack they do. I'm not into that. I'm just here to show you guys what to do, in case you don't know what to do. I don't think there's any items over here, so just go ahead and stand right here on the center of this platform, and it takes you up, back up to Quelag's domain. So yeah, this is now a shortcut that can get us back and forth. So I'm going to go ahead and use this bonfire real fast and re- uh, fuel my Estus, and I'll be right back. Alright, let's go kill this next boss. The next boss is, in my opinion, one of the hardest bosses in the game. Just, it's just, it, it's always caused me a lot of trouble. Um, so, take my strategy of fighting it with a grain of salt because I might not have a very good one since I've always kind of struggled against this guy 
but um, yeah, it's really annoying because the, the arena you fight it in is basically a huge pit of lava. And at this point, we can't walk on lava. You have to kill the boss in order to get the ring that allows you to walk on lava. So you get anywhere near that lava, you're going to die. Um, which is terrible, because that means that we're, we're limited to a very, very small space that we can even walk on in this arena. And the boss is really big, so if he comes over to you, it's like he's taking up almost the whole space. There's almost no room to maneuver. Which is not good for the type of build that I usually make, because it relies a lot on, you know, mover maneuverability. Maneuverability? Is that even a freaking word? I don't know. Anyways, light this bonfire and kindle it, because you may be coming back here shortly. There is an item we can pick up first, right down here. Just drop down. It's a soul item. Can never have enough souls. That's the truth. And let's just go ahead and drop right on down here. Almost overshot that. That would have been bad. Anyways, there's a summon sign over here. This is actually Solaire's summon sign. So let's go ahead and summon him to fight with us. Um, again, summoning Solaire can be really helpful because he draws the attention of the boss away from you. Not necessarily because he's any good in a fight. I mean, he does hit pretty hard, but he's usually just getting hit. He's usually taking all the hits. He's swallowing all the hits for you. Solaire's basically a tank for those of you who are WoW players. Or any kind of MMO for that matter. Alright, pass through the uh, fog wall here. God, I, I hate this enemy. I hate this boss so much. I honestly dread every time I have to do this. Cool design in terms of the way the boss looks. Um, not not a very fun boss battle. Not a very well designed fight. Not a very well designed. I don't know. I don't even know what I'm trying to say. I, I just hate this boss. So as you might imagine, it's uh, you can't do anything unless you're a ranged uh, build. You can't do anything to him while he's all the way out there. Can't even lock onto him. So you have to wait for him to come all the way over to you, but he'll keep grabbing you, picking you up. Did he get Solaire? No, he didn't. He'll keep attacking you from far. He'll knock you into the lava, which can kill you. I don't know why it didn't kill me just now, but that, that should have been a death right there. So that's one thing to watch out for. Um, what? The frame rate is so bad right now. This is going to make it a lot harder. I cannot even freaking see what's going on. I need to get back. Jeez, what is happening? See, this is why I, this is why I hate this. This is bad game design. Like, the boss is so big, and the area we are walking on is so small that the boss covers up most of the screen. Like, you can't see where you are and what you're doing. Solaire is uh, getting jacked right now. I can't do anything. I can't... Solaire does not usually do this. He does not usually go out and walk on the lava. I can't do anything. I can't do anything. Every time I pull my bow and arrow, he just jumps away. This is pointless. Alright, so Solaire did me absolutely no good in that fight, so... Now I'm solo. I'll show you how to do this. So, you want to get him over here, obviously, and then... You just kind of have to keep your guard up and then try to get right underneath him. Um, he can grab you and crunch on you like this, which really sucks. So keep your health up because you don't want this to uh, to kill you. So if you ever take a hit, then you're going to want to back up and um, heal yourself. But what he does is he'll often jump up to the ceiling so that you lose your mark on him. Your Okay, he didn't do it that time. But he'll often jump up and like grab on the ceiling and then you lose your um, target on him like this. Keep your shield out. He'll jump back down, block it. 
then get right underneath his stomach and attack him twice. And then back up and let your stamina rebuild again because he's going to do something that sucks to you. Unless you're careful. Try to stay right underneath his legs. Because I think when you're underneath his legs, he can't really grab you. Now, he'll start doing this attack quite a bit uh, towards the end of the fight where he'll kind of like jump and swing his tail at you. Uh, I like when he starts doing this. It actually makes it more easy and predictable. Um, I really cannot see what the freaking... See, this, this battle is so poorly designed. I freaking hate it. You can't see anything. The frame rate's bad. And it's just dust and debris and the monsters covering everything. Anyways, the point is, try to get underneath his legs block when he jumps to the ceiling when he comes back down get under the legs and attack him that's it that's my strategy that's the only way i can ever figure out how to kill that guy so he dropped which ring is it the orange charred ring put that freaking thing on because now with it equipped we can actually proceed through the rest of this area we can walk on lava and it will not hurt um, and with the fire resistance we get from this armor set, uh, it makes it almost negligible the amount of damage we receive while running on the, on the lava. I think that might be the only item in the immediate area that we can pick up. Well, let me look around just a little bit first. I don't think this is a false wall. I'm actually almost positive it's not, but I'm going to check anyway. Yeah. And then... Back here, I don't think there's anything. But I'll check it anyway, just to be safe. Yep, I was right. There's nothing over here. Okay. Let's head over here to the right. And um, there's going to be... A bonfire over here, and that's where I'll stop the video for today. I think Solaire will also be over here. So, uh, let's talk to him real quick. Why? Why? After all this searching, I still cannot find it. So he's Why? starting to kind of lose it a little bit here. He's looking for something, can't find it. Interesting. He's usually a pretty jolly guy, but right now he seems pretty depressed. Anyways, rest of this bonfire and uh, kindle it, and we'll continue on to what is easily the most poorly designed boss in the history of video games next time. Thanks for watching. Peace!